Welcome to Seeds and Arrows Frontier. Welcome to Seeds Frontier. Today we are going to do the building beehives. Good job. And two, and give them a place to work and make us honey. Yeah. Look at you hammering away. Good job. They finished? Yeah. That was hard work, wasn't it? Hey everybody, it's Mike with Seeds and Arrows Frontier and uh, we're out here with three generations here. Uh, me and my dad and Mikey here, we're all going to break into the bees. We're going to change out the bee boxes from the, the winter bee boxes that we had set up. We're actually going to use those for swarm traps because they got the smell of the bees, the propolis in there. And then we got some new boxes that we just made and uh, those are what we're going to be replacing these with. We're also going to get in here to check to see Daisy's hive to see how she's doing and uh, just make sure, uh, see where we're at as far as like any uh, queen cells or any activity as far as swarming goes. So uh, stay tuned for that. Camera back. Let's take a good look at this shirt. Yeah. This boy we did a major accomplishment on his 15th birthday yesterday. What was that, Mikey? Eat three hot wings, really hot wings, really hot, hot. The hottest the scorpion wings peppers. The scorpion yeah. peppers. He did it, and good job. Yeah. And, he and he got that shirt. <laughs> All right, so we got Daisy's hive right here. We're gonna go ahead and get in here, give him a little bit of uh, smoke here. So the top is still looking empty. So the top box was on the bottom and then uh, so Daisy was up in the middle box so this is still the middle box this was the bottom box so all the frames up here are uh, basically um, drawn comb but uh, she has not been laying in there yet so um, now we switch those around so that she could lay up in here but we're gonna change these out if you can bring one of those boxes over there, Dad. So they got a little bit of pollen patty. We're going to go ahead and move this down below. You can see some of these frames. These are uh, frames from the, the cutout, or the actually the, the dead out that we had, but oh, there's a roach. So, but uh, we're going to see what kind of frames we got in here for them to... So that's a good frame to for them to start filling with honey. Oh wow, look at that. Hmm. That's already capped honey right there. So we'll keep that up here. There's a little bit of capped honey in there. Get that primed out. We might actually keep this down below because it's got uh, some uh, areas for the queen to lay in. We get the puff of smoke. It's like they're bringing in red pollen. Can you see that, Mikey? The red pollen right there, yellow pollen. You see that, Dad? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Right. This is a frame last year that they drew out. So they got some pollen in there as well. Looking good. There's another frame they drew out. So they got all these uh, cells empty, ready to go. So this is one of the medium frames that they have drawn out. Roach. There we go. I don't know how those things get in here, but they do. So this is from the original dead out. And so they got comb on there for to 
right on top of here. Look at how many of those bees right there just going across there. We got the queen excluder down here, so we're just gonna pop that off and put that back on here. And then we're gonna change these frames over. We got a, a foundation frame that we're gonna put in here. Hopefully that they can start drawing out. Oh, there they go. You see they got some capped honey there. Got some capped honey over here. Oh, look at all that pollen, that red pollen they're bringing in there. Beautiful. So they're already bringing in uh, some nectar, it looks like. some uh, cone drawn down there which I'm okay with. Yeah, we're coming on the back side too. Yeah we need to take that off. Get some nectar in there. Okay. Doing good, doing good. Okay. This next frame is a beaut. So this is all new. Uh, this one's a brand new frame that we uh, drew out last this uh, past year. And they're just going to town on it. It looks like they cross combed it with another one here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. so I'm looking down here to see if there's any swarm cells or anything like that. Oh, there they go. They're coming apart. They just probably had them a little bit attached at the top. I'm trying to see if we can find Queen Daisy in here. Curious to see if they rubbed off her blue dot or not. There are some drones. So we got drones hatched out. Couple of fuzzy bees here. Fuzzy wuzzies. Fuzzy wuzzies. Where's that? Where's the camera angle at? You see some of those uh, brand new bees with the dust on them right there in the center. Yeah. Yep. The cat brood. It's a good sign. Don't see any like. Uh, queen cells or anything like that, which that's okay, but actually I want to get this up here off the ground. All the bees at least they'll come over here. Is that more of a good thing or a bad thing that there's no queen cells? Well, right now we're, we're kind of wanting queen cells to grow our operation, but mm. I guarantee you when their numbers are getting high, so when they, uh, and they got full cat brood right now, or at least a lot of cat brood, so I see some drones over here, drone caps. A lot 
lot of new bees. So the baby bees are just hatching out. Cat brood right there. Larva. Their eggs right up in here. So she's she is. That's the drones. Cat drones. So they are laving some drones. We got decent numbers. So we got cap drones over here. More cat brood over here. Larva. Nectar coming in at the top here. They're doing great. So they do got drones that they're making, which is a good sign for a healthy, healthy colony. Baby bees being hatched out. So. It looks like it's going to oh, fall in a thanks. second. Yeah. Thanks, Mikey. That one's still not attached. We'll get that one back in here. I don't know, Daisy may be down below. There's a lot of bees down below in the bottom box as well. The next one, they weaved over into <coughs> the one. Excuse me. Look at that crazy cross comb there. Yeah, look on this side. So we have uh, like sideways nectar and pollen all up in here. Yeah, they, I don't know what they ended up doing with that. They wanted to be a little creative. Well, and this is a nectar and pollen frame. I'm probably going to put this in the top box and then move one of the other frames down below. Because that's kind of crazy. And I don't want it to They're interfere worse. with the other ones. So, we'll set this one aside. Clean that bottom board off there. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. Thank you, Mikey. Oh, there's Queen Daisy. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, they cleaned it. They completely cleaned her off. She's right in the middle there. Good. Where is she? Right in the middle. Uh, see the, the bees tending to her? Oh, it, oh she's yeah. She's got a lay egg, actually. She's got an egg coming out right now. She's trying to look for a place to lay. Right down there. Yeah. Look at her. She's getting ready to lay. Isn't that cool? Damn. Man, they completely cleaned her off. You get her right there. So she's looking down in that hole right there to lay an egg. They where, completely took... Point where she is again? They completely took that blue spot off of her. But man, she is doing fantastic. I mean, she's got like drone, drone brood coming out, and she's taking every cell up right here. All right, it's kind of chilly, so I'm gonna get her back in there. But yeah, she's doing good. She's a good, mama. bees are really starting to take off over there yeah so these are kind of experimental but uh what do you mean by that my first uh, finger joint boards you can see the finger joints on the side here you did that with a nano blade I did that with a dado blade thank you <laughs> thank you for that a blade Dad. blade yep the dado blade yeah the nano <laughs> what did my dad calls it but uh so I wanted to make sure that I was having enough room so on these I uh this box this top box was my first one this box right here is my second one so we actually did pretty good but I realized that uh it was a hair too short now they're already starting to work on that yeah yep so uh it was just a hair too short 
So what ended up happening was I had to put some thinner pieces of board in here so that way uh, the frames would actually fit in there. Yeah, I drew it just a little too far apart. So my next one I made shorter, but then the ledge on the sides are open. So I had to make sure that the, the longer one is on top and the shorter one is on the bottom. So I think that's how that's going to go. This is a short, this is a shorter one. Or the shorter, yeah, the longer one's on top, the shorter one will be on the bottom. Get your foot straight. So, so you want to videotape that? So now, this, this assembly right here will be perfect. They got the longer one on top, shorter one on the bottom, so the rain would fall down, not into the hive. Make sense? No. Yeah. All right. So these were the uh, the frames that we got from the cutout. Well, this, this is just a foundation frame we added in there. But the, these right here we got from the cutout. You can see that they're not working on this one. But they actually, it looks like they've actually cut or sucked the honey out of here and moved it, probably moved it up top is what they're probably doing. Huh? What? Yeah. So we got a little bit of uh, of the drawn comb from the cutout in here. So hopefully they'll be able to use that. Actually, that's a little wonky comb there. But they've already. I'm gonna actually cut that part off. Hold, hold that up against the wall. Probably get stung today. Probably. So they already propolized this right here to the side of the frame. But what we're kind of hoping on is that uh, they have enough areas to make, if, if we are going to get queen, queen cells, which is what we're looking for. We're looking for them to make some uh, swarm cells so that way we can uh, break them off and split the hive. But. Uh, Patience is a virtue. So we got some of that right down there. So we're gonna see if uh, if they can do that with this and then go from there. Uh, yeah, they got some of the Ah oh, these. So That's they actually off. got the brood on there, so they're covering the brood, but now it stuck to this frame right here. That's not good. And they chewed off the rubber bands on this one. Oh, they got some new comb there. Trying to see if Daisy laid any eggs in here. Oh yeah, she's already came down here and laid eggs in this. Beautiful. I don't know if you can see in there. There's a little rice. That, look more at the top, Mikey. You see the little rice things in there? Uh, not really. Uh, kinda. The bees are a little. Uh. The bees are in the way, but when they move, yeah, you can see them. Cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this one right here, though. I mean, they got cat brood in it. 
That's a little frustrating. There, Breeze, what do you expect them to do? Cooperate completely? Yeah, exactly, Mikey. Oh, it looks like Daisy's already laid in here, too. Uh, I, I was hoping that with all the bees that are tending to it. Yeah, so, which is good, because, I mean, that means that they've accepted the swarm and accepted this hive uh, as their own, as you can see. So we had to take it off of uh, this frame right here. So we're not going to put, we're going to have to do a foundationless uh, in order to keep that straight, but hopefully they'll be able to seal that up and if they want to make queen cells, they can make them off the sides there. We at least got that in there. What's that do? So these are the beetle blasters. So uh, the bees will force the beetles into these holes right here, the vegetable oil. So the bees try, or the uh, the beetles will try to get away from the bees and go into this uh, beetle trap. But then they get caught into the vegetable oil. They can't get out. And then, so uh, from there, they drown in the oil. Well, got our honey frames. We're gonna cut that. Uh, 